we now come to the duration of seasoning. It depends on the wood species, on the quality of the wood, on the technique to be used and on the location where the final artifact is to be used. Seasoning wood has an effect on woodworking tools which means they don't go smoothly into fresh wood even when Japanese woodworkers use fresh wood for bending. Although the wood to be bent will be immersed in hot water in order to soften it, he must first dry the fresh wood for a week. Otherwise, his tools will not perform correctly. The harder a wood, the longer its period of drying. Timber with many kinds of figuring needs more time to dry than simpler, less expressive wood. Japanese woodworkers make a great distinction between air seasoned and kiln dried wood on the role played by seasoning in different woodworking fields. Economically minded modern woodworkers praise kiln seasoning for being both easy to control and for saving considerable time and money. In the field of Osaka style fine china wood cabinet making, Miyuas Hita Kenyuro creates furniture out of Southeast Asian timber. He is the only woodworker among the interviewees who mentioned having to kiln dry his wood after air seasoning it. He has to obtain a moisture level less than 15% so that the moisture content of the wood will correspond to the atmospheric humidity of a modern house. This can only be achieved by kiln seasoning. The other woodworkers did not mention following this practice because their products are generally intended to be used in a traditional Japanese style environment which corresponds to the outside atmospheric humidity. Thus, materials, techniques, and the environment where the finished objects will be used must all be in harmony. An awareness of the need to balance these considerations has always been shared by Japanese woodworkers. Traditional woodworkers praise the unsurpassed quality of air-dried wood. The seasoning of wood demands care and craftsmanship and is an essential step in the overall woodworking process. In the sashimono, fine cabinet making, field, seasoning is particularly important because objects such as boxes and cabinets are made of a variety of solid wooden boards. Seasoning has to be done with particular care in order to avoid future shrinkage or warping. For even if only one of the boards warps, it immediately affects the other parts. Wani, for example, cites the effects of climatic change. When he moves an exhibition from Koto to Tokoro he runs the risk that an artifact may react to the difference in atmospheric humidity between the Kansai and the Kanto areas. In this context, that only wood which has been air seasoned for 20 to 30 years has the necessary stability to resist shrinkage or swelling caused by changes in humidity from summer to winter. This example reflects the extreme seasoning requirements which have to be met, especially for assembled objects. To avoid having to season wood, Inaose Chusai, who manufactures objects for the tea ceremony, sometimes uses old wood, 
perhaps recycled timber from old quarto buildings which have been restored or torn down. For Sashimono work, the wood is dried as long as possible. This would be ideal for Buddhist statues too. But wood for Sashimono is cut into boards that are preserved, whereas carving Buddha's work is three-dimensional, so they can't saw the wood, they have to keep the log whole. Before a Buddhist sculptor can carry out a thorough seasoning, Mukawasi Uboku must first make a rough sculpture, which is then hollowed out. He works with large blocks of wood, which means that the wood must be seasoned in a different manner from that used by Sashimono woodworkers. He cuts directly into the fresh wood in order to make a rough carving. Once he has hollowed out the sculpture, he can proceed to season it, as the walls are now thin. Hinoki cypress and camphor wood are the main wood species used for making Buddhist images. Since seasoning hinoki cypress means running the risk of decay, which has to handle it more carefully than camphor wood. Take the example of camphor wood, even if it's stored for 30 or 50 years, the inner part is still just like fresh wood. The surface has only dried a little bit. Hinoki seasons much faster, but it sometimes decays. Since one log is so expensive, we can't take that risk, and so we simply can't let it dry.